what's up welcome back so my two most asked questions in life are one domi where do you get your foil and two how do you foil so i asked on instagram a month or two ago if y'all wanted to see a full video on the process and swatches and everything and it was a resounding 100 percent yes vote so here we are hopefully this answers all of your questions if not if you still have questions at the end i love talking about foil so feel free to dm me and um i'd be happy to answer anything i can y'all know where to find me so first I'm gonna go over, I guess like the supplies needed, um, and then I will go through all of the swatches, which I'm gonna have to film on another day because my scripts are not in yet, so um, I'm not quite sure when this video is going to go up, but hopefully soon. So obviously, you're gonna need some stickers. Um, pretty much any shop that sells unfoiled um, should be foil ready. So any shop that you see me buying unfoiled stickers from regularly, um, I've never had an issue foiling their stickers. So like Plan With Me Stickers, Alicia Craft, Plan A Hannah, um, Kristen's Planner, pretty much anyone that you've seen featured on my channel unfoiled, um, there hasn't been an issue with me foiling their stickers. So um, you should be safe as long as it says unfoiled or foiled ready. If it says black though, I would double check with um, the shop that that means like unfoiled, not like black foil. So yeah, if you shop from anyone that I shop from regularly, you should be good to go. Um, so you'll need your stickers and then foil, obviously. Um, Foil rolls can be like a little unruly once you get them going. So I just use these little um, like one inch hair ties. They fit perfectly around the rolls. They don't like dent or like crinkle the foil or anything like that. Um, so I'll have these linked down below. I'll have like everything linked down below. Um, but the main shop that I buy foil from is Synergy 17. Um, I buy from a handful of other shops too, which I'll have linked in the description. Um, but honestly, like y'all, it's all the same foil. It's all from the same manufacturer. So it doesn't really matter what site you buy it from. I just personally like Synergy 17 because they're the cheapest prices that I've found and they have the biggest selection. So for this size roll for like a standard color um, is I think $7.50 on Synergy 17 and then um, the specialty foils, so like your hollows, your glitters, your patterns, all of that kind of stuff, I believe is $12.50 with them. Um, and other shops are a couple dollars more per roll. So um, Synergy 17 is by far my favorite site to buy foil from. They're probably so fucking tired of me at this point, honestly. Um, but yeah, I will have all of the other sites listed down below so you can check those out as well. Um, and then you're gonna need something to carry your little sticker foil sandwich through the laminator with. Um, I honestly just use like a lightweight card stock. Um, I use just like typing printer paper for years too. They make carriers, but like that to me just seems like a waste of money because like this shit works just fine. And then as far as your foiling machine, pretty much just any laminator will work. I'm sure a mink would work. I've never really used one and I don't quite know what it is, but I feel like it's just a glorified laminator, so it should work. Um, but any laminator will work just fine. I used an Amazon Basics one for 
a year or two but honestly like I don't really recommend that one because like it worked but also like it broke a lot so like I don't know if I necessarily recommend that one but before I upgraded to this I used a swing line laminator for years I'll definitely link the swing line laminator down below um, because I used it for years it was like 40 or 50 bucks it was great never had any issues with it it foiled everything beautifully so i definitely recommend that one so i'll be sure to link that one but the one that i'm currently using that i upgraded to about a year and a half ago um is the tamerica t america i don't know how to pronounce it but um it's the tcc 230 so i'll link this down below if anyone wants to get it i do recommend it if it's within your budget but you don't need it like you do not need something this fancy it was like 215 or so dollars and the only reason that i got it is that i had an amazon gift card from work that i wasn't really using on anything else so i figured i would make that investment well it wasn't really like an investment because like i didn't really pay for it but I figured I would um, just take the leap and upgrade since I do so much foiling and um, I do recommend this it's great it's very heavy though <laughs> um, but if it's in your budget and if you want to make that investment go for it but I just want to reiterate you do not need something this nice any basic laminator should work fine so let me scooch this out of the way um, I'm not gonna cut all the foil on camera just because my desk is like very small. Um, let me see if I can scooch that a little more out of the way. So basically the way that I cut my foil um, is I just go like this, cut down this line, and then with um, the width of Hannah's sheets and Plan With Me stickers, sheets um they're pretty thin so when i cut this way i can um do three sheets this way um with alicia's they're a little bit thicker or wider i guess so i can only get two stacking them this way but um any like excess foil i just save um for like scripts or whatever all right i'm back i've got my little stack of carriers everything is cut and ready to go so i'm going to show you the process now so um basically you're just gonna take your sticker sheet and your foil and just place it on top foil side up and then pop it through your carrier and you can either send it through horizontally or vertically. I prefer to do vertically because I find that if I do it horizontally, it kind of tends to crinkle the paper. So I prefer to just do vertically. So I'm going to turn my motor on and it just passes through. I'm going to get my next one ready to go while that's going through um sorry it's kind of loud okay so there is our first one done that's how that one turned out this is green hollow and this is lemongrass let's see how this one turned out okay perfect um i will say obviously like your foil um cut lines like do not have to be perfect but you just want to make sure that there is nothing hanging out of the edges um you just want to make sure all the foil is tucked in the carrier nicely because if there's anything sticking out it can get stuck in the rollers once you're sending it through and then it becomes a whole big crinkly mess and there are like just weird lines and like defects and whatever when that happens so you'll just want to make sure that everything is tucked in nicely this noise is probably so annoying i'm sorry 
Um, oh, also another tip. Um, sometimes things can overfoil if um, the temperature is too hot. So if it ever overfoils, um, that shouldn't be a problem at all. If you just take a um, Q-tip or a cotton ball and just go over the excess foil, it should come right off. Um, so yeah, this is Pink Hollow. Um, this is for my Sunny Days spread. So that's gonna be um, absolutely unhinged. Very excited for that. Um, I don't know if I said it um, earlier, but this is all stuff for my August lineup. So you'll see all of this in that video. Um, so there's how the black foils. Um, okay, let me grab one of my glitters real quick. So that way you can see how the glitter foils. Okay. Okay, so this is Rose Sparkle. So there you can kind of see how the different finishes, I suppose, foil. So we've got a hollow, a regular, and then a sparkle. Now, I will say for the solids, um, if your heat is not high enough, um, it won't foil all the way through. So if you do have a laminator with different heat settings, you'll just wanna make sure to turn it up a little bit higher for the solids. So yeah, that is everything foiled for my August lineup. I did foil some solids off camera that I forgot about. But yeah, everything turned out really well. As you can see, um, it is quite an easy, simple process. You, you don't really need much. Um, and it turns out pretty well every time. There was a little bit of overfoiling that you may have seen on the soccer balls, but um, with the cotton ball that came off super easily. Um, so yeah, you can't even tell at all. Um, the solids are always a little bit hard to get right. These are a little messed up because I didn't have my heat setting high enough when I foiled these. Uh, but they're not too, too bad, and I'm layering the soccer balls over them, so this pattern will definitely cover up most of the oopses on this. Um, if I were using, like, a confetti or something, I may redo it, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, so, yeah, that is everything. Again, super easy and simple. There will probably be some trial and error um, as you figure out your laminator, but, yeah, once you start, you're not going to want to stop, so sorry. Hopefully this answered all of your questions. Again, if you have any other questions, feel free to DM me, and I will be back in just a second with all of the swatches.
All right, I'm back. My cute little DIY swatch book is finally, finally done. So I will go into how I made this really quickly before I get into the swatches. So I don't make my own stickers. Like I don't have a silhouette or a printer or anything like that. So I didn't have a way to make the actual stickers for the swatches myself. So what I did was get a couple custom multis with all of the foil colors that I have from Plan With Me stickers. So um, really just any shop that sells custom multis you'll be able to do this with. Um, you may need a few depending how many foils you have. Um, I have a lot so I think it took two full sheets of multi-customs from Plan With Me stickers. So you can really get them from any shop that sells those. I just happen to like her font the best, um, or her font options the best. And then I just used solid underlays from pretty much every shop that I buy them from. So like Plan With Me stickers, Alicia Craft, Plan A Hannah, Kristen's Planner, pretty much just everyone because I was just kind of like working through what I had in my stash. And um, this is like a loose leaf binder clip. And then these are um, like just blank gift tags. So I went with this method rather than the acrylic tags that everybody is using right now because I feel like those are very expensive and they take up so much space. So this is like 50, 60 swatches in not a lot of space. So I like that they're all on one ring and this is significantly cheaper. So the pack of tags was like seven bucks and then the pack of rings was like eight bucks. So relatively cheap um, to put this together. And these tags are like the perfect width for a full box. So it was very quick and easy to assemble. Um, and it took like a little bit having to like cut out the foil for all of these. But like once I got in the groove, it was so easy, especially since I was using the custom multis and like the solid underlays, like I didn't have to make any of that myself. So very easy process, time consuming if you have a lot, but once you're in the rhythm, it's fine. All right, so on to the swatches. Hopefully these all show up pretty well on camera. If there are any that you still have question about or that you wanna see um, in a little more depth, DM me on Instagram and I'd be happy to show you. Now let's hop in here. So this is silver glitter. So if you get like sparkly hollow or whatever from a shop, more often than not, it's the silver glitter. So um, the glitter patterns have like cute little stars. They're not super apparent um, when it's not like a solid, like you can kind of see in the script at the bottom, like you can't really tell that the stars are there unless you're looking for them. So yeah, that silver glitter, one of my favorites. It's so sparkly, so pretty. And then we have silver sparkle, which is another one of my favorites. I feel like I'm going to be saying that about a lot of these, but this is a very, very chunky, like, sparkly hollow so pretty and then we have champagne silver so this is more of like a disco ball foil so you can kind of see the difference there between the sparkle and the champagne okay then we have pixie dust, which is like a very, very fine sparkly hollow. So there it is in comparison to the silver glitter and then the silver sparkle. So you can see how much finer it is compared to the others. And then we have silver stars, which is just like a silver hollow 
star pattern, but there's not really any glitter in it. So you can see in comparison to the silver glitter with the stars there. And then we have shattered glass. And then just regular hollow. And then just silver. And then we have silver gold, which is like the midpoint between silver and gold. It's like the perfect color for when you don't know if you want to use silver or gold with a kit. It's like a true midpoint. Well, I'll say it's a midpoint between silver and light gold, not like regular gold. Um, and then we have gold glitter, which is the same kind of star pattern and then gold sparkle, then champagne gold, and then pixie gold, and then gold stars. Then we have gold hollow, and then sunlight gold, which is light gold. And Oh, I will show you, I'll try to show you here the difference between silver gold and gold and sunlight gold, if I can get them. Hang on. Okay, so there you can see, hopefully, that silver gold is like the true midpoint between the two. Then we've got pearl and matte bronze this one is called almond on the sites then we have matte silver and then matte gold i'm gonna be honest i don't <laughs> love this one um i feel like this is just a very aggressive gold there is one called light matte gold that I might get to erase and replace this but yeah I feel like that's a very very aggro gold um then oh, we get into the hollows which are so fun so we've got blue hollow and then green hollow which is honestly such an underrated foil like that's beautiful and then magenta hollow and copper hollow which is really fun perfect for fall spreads and then we have purple hollow and pink hollow then we have rose sparkle which is like sparkly rose gold so pretty and then we have the glitters which are my favorites so we have blue glitter and then green glitter and magenta glitter then we have orange glitter and red glitter so those all have like the little stars in them like the gold and silver glitters do and then we have rainbow stars which is the same kind of thing where it's like a hollow star pattern but there's not really glitter in it but then we have black glitter which is um not glittery at all so um as you can see it is just quite a standard issue black there are a couple of different black ones and they all look the exact same when <laughs> they're actually used so yeah don't get this thinking that it's going to be like a super glittery black you could really get any black and it's going to look the same and then we have my beloved champagne green which is basically like sparkly lemongrass it's like a sparkly disco ball lemongrass it's gorgeous easily easily a favorite of mine and then here it is in comparison to lemongrass so we've got my beloved lemongrass <laughs> okay so on to the greens first we have peridot which 
I don't think is showing up on camera too well, it looks like, but it's a very shiny, light green. It's very, very pretty. And then we have Kiwi, which is, it's not matte, but it's not super shiny. So I would almost call it more of like a satin finish. And then we have Apple Green and Grass Green. And then we have Olive. And then Hunter, which is a new favorite. It's like the most beautiful jewel toned green and it goes with so, so much more than you think it would go with. It's such a gorgeous color. So let me show y'all the greens all spread out so you can kind of compare there. Okay. Oh, I forgot one. <laughs> okay. We've also got um, winter green. Hang on. Okay. That's a really pretty color. I haven't used it yet outside of this swatch, but it's gorgeous and I can't wait to use it. So let's try that again. Okay. <laughs> there are all the greens. And then we have green tie-dye, which is super cool. I think the tie-dyes in general are cool, but I feel like I wouldn't get enough use out of them to justify buying rolls in all the tie-dye options, but I have not seen any sticker shops carry green tie-dye, so I figured I would just pick it up. So onto the blues, first we've got powder blue, which is gorgeous. It's another one of those more like satin finish colors, but truly a beautiful color. And then we have sky blue. And then teal. And then Lagoon Blue, which is another satiny color. I love this. I use this so much. It's like the perfect summer color. And then we have Sea Foam. And Royal Blue, which is so bright and so pretty. And then we have just regular blue. Here it is in comparison to the royal blue, both very pretty colors, and then navy. So here's all of the blues together so you can kind of compare those. These are all so pretty. Okay, so on to the purples. First we have wisteria, which is like the prettiest light purple. Then we have amethyst, which is like a bright, beautiful, mid-tone purple. And then we have midnight purple, which is a gorgeous, deep, dark purple. It's like the moodier, darker, older sister of amethyst. This is my favorite purple. I use it with everything. Um, here I will compare the three purples for y'all real quick. Midnight is for sure my favorite. I feel like if you have Midnight, you don't need Amethyst, but if you have Amethyst, you need Midnight. I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense. <laughs> okay, then we have the pinks. So we've got hot pink and then light pink this was one of the first ones that I bought and I don't remember the name it could be like light rose rose I really don't know um, so I just named it light pink and then um, I've got pink gold which is like silver gold is right in the middle of silver and gold this is like right in the middle of gold and rose gold and here we have rose gold 
So you can kind of see a comparison there. Pink gold is much pinkier. And then we have pumpkin and copper. So there's the comparison there between pumpkin and copper. And then finally we have just regular black. Um, so yeah, that is gonna wrap up this video. I hope it was helpful. If you still have any questions, just shoot me a DM and I would be happy to try to help. Thanks so much for watching and hanging out and I hope to see you in the next one. Later days.